Hi, my name is Andrea, and today I'm sharing a delicious and easy recipe for Hawaiian chess pie. If you've never had a chess pie, you are in for a treat. And as always, I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. Let me show you what you're going to need. You are going to need a par-baked pie shell. Now I'm using a refrigerated Pillsbury pie crust. If you'd rather use a frozen, that's fine. Just make sure that it's thawed out first. You're also going to need some sugar, flour, some eggs, milk, lemon juice, melted butter, crushed pineapple, and coconut. So let's get started. Okay, so first we're gonna start off by cracking our eggs. And you're gonna beat them slightly. Now anytime you're baking, you wanna make sure that all of your wet ingredients are at room temperature. That's just gonna help your baked good bake more evenly. Next, you're gonna add in your milk, which is also at room temperature, your sugar, flour, lemon juice, and melted unsalted butter. And just give it a good stir until it's nice and smooth. Okay, so now that we have that all mixed up, I'm just adding in my crushed pineapple, which is drained by the way, and also my coconut, and you're just gonna give it a good stir. So now I'm just gonna pour that mixture into my pie crust. Okay, so I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. I am going to let this pie bake for about an hour or until that center is set. Okay, so here is the pie. I let it bake for exactly 50 minutes. The, com the center was completely set and now it has cooled off some. So I wanted you to see what it looked like whole. I'm getting ready to cut it so you can see what it looks like on the inside. Okay, so I cut a slice of pie and here it is. As you can see, it is set all the way through. And here is the pie with a slice cut out of it. As you all can see, this is such a quick and easy recipe. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.